Good evening and welcome to our Order of Service for Compline for Friday the 29th of May. Can you believe it? This is the last Compline we will do in May. We've done um, just over two and a half months now of uh, evening services. When we started it was dark and now we're not even going to bed when it's dark. But we will keep going while there is a need, so we hope you enjoy the service with us. So like I say, this is Compline for Friday the 29th of May. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who, who made, made heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. And we reflect on this past day. Most, Most merciful God, God we, we confess, confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep from evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know O Father, that we ask be done Through Jesus Christ, your only Son And Holy Spirit, by whose breath Our souls are raised to life from death Psalm 86 Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me For I am poor and in misery Preserve my soul, for I am faithful. Save your servant, for I put my trust in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for you are my God. I call on upon you all the day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and listen to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my distress I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor any works like yours. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wonderful things. You alone are Lord. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Knit my heart to you that I may fear your name. I will thank you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name for evermore. For great is your steadfast love towards me, for you have delivered my soul from the depths of the grave. O God, the proud rise up against me, and a ruthless horde seek after my life. They have not set you before their eyes. But you, Lord, are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and full of kindness and truth. Turn to me and have mercy upon me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. Show me a token of your favour, that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you, O Lord, have helped and comforted me. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. 
The old shall dream dreams and the young shall see visions. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into, Into your hands, hands O Lord, Lord, I commend my spirit. spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I, I commend, commend my spirit. spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into, Into your, your hands, hands O Lord, Lord, I commend my spirit. spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide, Hide me, me under, under the, the shadow, shadow of, of your wings. Alleluia. The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, Alleluia, shall teach you all things. Alleluia, Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, Alleluia, shall teach you all things. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. For part of our prayer this evening, I'm going to use the prayer that John wrote for our weekly reflection as we move towards the end of Thy Kingdom Come and think about Pentecost. We light a candle and enjoy the flickering light, the fragrance and the warm it creates. But without the spark that ignites, there will be no flame. Without the wax, the source of power, the wick will not burn. Without the flame, there will be no fragrance, no warmth, no light. And so with us, Lord, you are the catalyst that ignites us and the fuel that sustains us. You fill us with your fragrance as you enter our lives. You empower us to carry your flame in our hearts, to be the fragrance, warmth, and light of your love in this dark world. Lord Jesus, may we shine for you in our community. Let us pray. We ask for your forgiveness, Lord, when we forget the power that lies within and trust instead on our human strength. Remind us of that glorious day when your spirit transformed the lives of those who hid in fear into people of power. Renew our hearts which have grown cold with flames of fire as on that first Pentecost, that this might be the church that you desire. Lord, in your mercy, hear Amen. our prayer. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks that your love for each of us is revealed to us in so many ways. We thank you for our families, our friends, those we meet at school, at work, at the shops, in community, or wherever we find ourselves. Help us to be considerate in our actions, thoughtful in our dealings with people and reflect in our lives your loving concern for all. Help us to be open to see your will and trust you in the choices we make each day. Lord, in your mercy, hear Amen. our prayer. Lord of all justice, let the world be changed, for we long to see an end of poverty. Let the rules be tra changed, for we long to see trade bring justice to the poor. Let our lives be changed, for we long to bring hope where good news is needed. We remember those who are forced to become refugees, suffering loss of family, friends, livelihood, possessions and dignity. We remember those suffering the effects of famine, 
disease, intolerance, prejudice and neglect. We remember all those agencies that work to relieve suffering. Send forth your spirit and renew our world with truth and justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all compassion, help us to be mindful of the differing needs of those we meet. Help us to be there when needed, supportive during the lowest and the most miserable times we all experience. We remember all in special need and bring before you those ill at home, in hospital, care home or hospice and those who care for them. We bring before you those who feel no one cares about them, the unemployed, the poor, the lonely, the depressed and those suffering injustice and neglect. We remember those who are close to death and those recently bereaved. Pour out your spirit of love and peace upon them that they may know that they are known and loved by you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God in the prayer our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the, the night, night is, is at hand, hand and the and day, the day is, is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so, so do we, we look, look for you, O Christ. Christ. May the Holy Spirit of God bless and sanctify us, so that we may be consecrated in the truth. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder that John will be live here at half past ten on Sunday morning and we will be back on Monday at eight o'clock for our weekly reflection for the fall week after Pentecost. We wish you all a very lovely weekend and a very good night.